was a great environment. I thank the crowd. They started early. They were loud from the beginning. I really appreciate them, the band, the cheerleaders, the dance team, the students that came out. They were ready. They were ready, and so was our team. Um, these guys did a good job. Um, we played an awesome team in Wisconsin. I watched all their tapes. They've been excellent. Offensively, they've been excellent. Defensively, um, got contributions from everybody. Um, you know, just a great team win, you know, today. And these guys earned a day off, so they get to enjoy the Super Bowl. Steve, what kind of tone is it set when your team gets two deflections and two steals on the first four defensive possessions? Yeah, you know, um, I wanted to be, you know, aggressive, and they were. You know, um, they've been practicing well. I mean, Cliff had his best practice in four years. Yesterday was 11 for 12 from the floor in our practice. Um, just fantastic. He grabbed every big rebound. Noah, you know, came off the bench and gave us unbelievable lift. Obviously, Jeremiah passing the ball, six assists, no turnovers in the first half. Uh, but, you know, everyone played, and, and that team is really good wall. Um, defend, you know, to defend him is a problem. You know, Kroll is a problem, you know, and Store is a problem. And, and, you know, we did a good job on him in the second half. But we were ready to go. That's what the first beginning of the game, and I'm proud of these guys. They were ready. Brian, and Chris, two straight wins, a 20-point win over a top 15 team. Does this feel like a turning point of the season? Does this we just like keep one game at a time, you know, so we'll just keep playing. We've got a great Northwestern team coming in. Are they ranked? or They probably have been throughout the course. Out throughout the course of the year. So, you know, we just keep playing, you know, don't get too high, don't get too low, you know, you, you know yeah, it's a tough league, tough league we're in. So get ready for the next game. That's what you can do. Stay healthy. Chris. Coach, uh, Jeremiah Williams, you know, leading the team in assists. A lot of those assists, especially in the first half, were to Cliff Amore down low. Just what did you see in terms of that connection and how beneficial Jeremiah was in setting Cliff up? In those yeah, I mean, well? just he does a lot of things. You know, he can score. Um, he shoots it. He made six for six from the foul line. We, sh we made free throws today. He was a big part of that. But he sees the floor. He's a really good passer. So I've been seeing that all season, you know. And, and you know, just honestly, I like we've been practicing the right way. Derek's getting better, too. He practices the right way. Um, a Watt Mag, obviously, tough assignment today. But, you know, having Jeremiah and, then, and the way Noah came off the bench and gave us great minutes, I thought Andre was fantastic, too, coming off the bench. But, um, you know, getting Cliff involved always. You know, the other team does a good job sometimes of not allowing Cliff to get involved. No, nobody ever gives them credit. But, you know, Jeremiah got him some looks, and, and Cliff rolled hard and was very active, you know, all day. Uh, one of the hardest things to do is to speed up a Wisconsin team that loves to play at their own pace. Felt like you guys did that today, you know, 12 turnovers. What do you think was the biggest part of that, you know, to go along with the pressure defensively? I mean, you, you know, we're, we're, you know, we can defend, and, and the guys are figuring it out, you know. So we got good length. we got some speed. J. Mike, since, since he's been inserted in the starting lineup, I think we're 6-1 and one with him as a starter. So, you know, uh, he's a good defender, too. Uh, but when we're connected the way we are today, you know, that's you know, a good sign for us. But our defense has, has been good, and hopefully it's headed to being excellent. You know. I'm in right here. Coach, and then the halftime, you guys are nearly shooting 50%. Um, you know, when a team's in rhythm like this, how dangerous do you guys, you know, how, how dangerous do you believe you guys could really be? Yeah, I mean, any time when the ball's going in, obviously, like, you know, it's a good thing. But I, I like the shot attempts we got. I've actually been liking the shot attempts we got. We, we made them today. Uh, we got to the free throw line and made our free throw. So always those are big, those are big things. So, uh, you know, and against a good team like that, that doesn't let you score. Their defense is one of the most efficient in, in the country. So, um, you know, good sign for us. Great. Steve, how would you describe Jeremiah's impact on the team since being cleared three games ago? You know, I love his personality. That's the thing I talk to him a lot about, like his personality. He likes practicing. He's competitive. Um, you know, it's just it's just nice to be able to add him. I think that's the new college basketball. We're going to have guys coming and going. And, you know, thankfully, um, you know, he got on the court. He's doing some unbelievable. He's a good rebounder, too. He gives us another defender. He's a good voice out there. You know, he can make plays, and, and yet he can score, you know, on his own, too. So, but I love his personality. Like, I love he's happy, he smiles, he's in the huddle, he's talkative. And, you know, those things are really important to a team that, you know, for the most part, we're a little bit on the quiet side, you know, and so he's given us a little bit of a voice. Jared, Steve, you said repeatedly it takes everybody. What's it like for you to see Noah fulfill his role the way he did today? I mean, just proud of him. You know, we had a nice meeting the other day. We watched film together. I mean, I, 
I love him. I believe in him. I'm thankful he's here. Um, and, you know, he can really shoot the ball. He really can. And uh, he did an unbelievable job today. His defense has been really good all year long. And then today, you know, he got that thing going. And, you know, he's very capable of doing that. And, you know, every game it takes somebody different and somebody, you know, and, and he was a huge, huge lift for us today. And, you know, it's going to continue being that for us, you know, moving forward. Chris and then Brian. Um, Coach, I know Noah, of course, had several made threes, and, and it looked like you guys were really clicking in terms of your perimeter shooting in the second half. Do you feel like there was a particular reason why you, your, your guys were able to get good looks on the perimeter? I mean, you know, like, it's like anything. We've gotten good looks. We just, you know, haven't capitalized. If you really watch film and break it down and, and, and see the shots we're getting at the rim, and, you know, we just haven't capitalized the way we have, but we still have figured out ways to win games. and. It's what I'm most proud of these guys. Some days the ball doesn't go in. Today it went in, um, which is a good thing. But you know, you still got to give yourself a chance to win the game. So your scouting report, T.J. Thompson did a great job. You know, preparing us for this. We had a couple days, um, you know, to be really locked in. And you know, I thought we did a good job on Hepburn. I thought we did a good job on Wall. You know, and, and guys followed the followed the game plan. Brian, a lot of the season it's felt like things have gone wrong between. Transfers, injuries, just a bunch of things going against you guys. Does the past week feel like things are just going right? Everything's been going no, right, especially no, today? Man, we just keep working. Just keep working. Things have gone the way, you know, you have obstacles during the season. We're not like Wisconsin has them, Ohio State has them, you know, Michigan State has them. Like, Rutgers is not going to be immune to obstacles and foul trouble and injuries and COVID and everything else. So just keep plugging away, and these guys believe in each other, and they keep working hard. and. You know, that's how your season goes. So um, it's, it's exciting right now where we are and, and, and moving forward here. And better days are ahead, but it's not going to be easy. Northwestern's coming in here. They got the oldest team in the league with the best point guard in the, maybe in the country and well coached and all those other things. So we're on to the next obstacle, and it's not going to be easy.